right. <clears throat> Master Splinter, B10S. I like to make them in size four. All right, first we need to take a little piece of long cut rabbit fur, trim everything off but the end. I don't know, I grab a piece that's like right about two inches, probably less. Trim off all the hair except for the last little piece on there. That'll make the tail. Big fan of these new loom scissors. Starting thread. I'm using some Vivas. What is this? 200 denier? 150. I like to make a nice base so that this thing has something to grip onto. <clears throat> Alright. Take a little tail. You want to measure it out so that. A little bit longer than the hook, the leather. So I'm gonna cut off some of this. I want it right about there, because you don't want them short striking and only striking at the tail. Do some loose wraps, just to keep it aligned. That's probably all the further I'm gonna go with that. Cut off the rest, then tighten it down a bit. This is not like a pretty process here. Not really something that has to be all perfect. All this is going to be covered up by foam. Going from Wu Tang to Bella Fleck in the background here. All right, I'm going to use a strip of foam. the stuff at Joann's for like nothing. If you get it from Fly Shop, this would be like $7,000. Want to strip like two inches long, maybe two and a half inches long, and about a half inch wide. If you don't do it skinny enough, it pushes all the fur down. And you'll see what I mean in a second, but it'll push the fur down. We're going to wrap in there and it won't stick out the sides. It'll just point straight down into the water. And to make the profile we want for the fur, I really want it to stick out sideways to give it more of a animal looking profile instead of just, you know, some fuzz sticking down into the water. This work gets real ugly. I go ahead and tie this in about right here. Kind of try to keep it straight if you can. And this is going to look really sloppy. But I promise when it's all said and done, it'll look good. Alright. Now, only purists are really going to laugh at me here. I like to put a little bit of super glue to keep my strip in place. So now we're going to use a cross cut. <clears throat> strip of rabbit fur. This is actually dark brown. Um, the tail's black, but I think it just gives it a cool look to have a kind of two tone to it. Tie this in at an angle. Get 
get that cinch down real nice and tight. Bring your thread forward. And then go ahead and wrap away. Kind of try to pile the wraps right in front of each other. And then once you get up here to the end of it, go ahead and tie it down. However you can. I wrapped it the opposite way that I wrapped the fur. I just kind of like how that holds it together when you tighten it. It kind of spins the fur the opposite direction. All right, so now we get to making our head here. Oh, got a little bit of super glue in his fur. Try to part it right down the middle where you're gonna fold this over. I like to kind of blow on it, it just parts it right down the middle perfectly if you blow on it most of the time, except if I accidentally got some super glue in here. I put too much on there. There we go. You're gonna take this end, fold it right over the top. fur is kind of placed evenly throughout. All right. I go ahead and cinch this down. One loose wrap and then I start to tighten it with each do. That kind of gives you this little look here. And you just fold it right back. I like to have the head and the ears about the same size to be honest. One loose wrap, one tight wrap, and one really tight wrap. There you go. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I get in here and clean up some of this hair. Honestly, I really don't think it makes a difference, but I still do it. One of the quickest, neatest little ties you're ever going to do. And then, just to make sure this thing holds, once again, you pur purists will hate me. Drop a super glue in there. kind of uh, wipe off the excess. Obviously get that off your fingers. And then you can go ahead and whip finish right over the top of the head. <clears throat> That's it. Master Splinter. Pretty easy. That little guy crushes it. 